Did you know, on June 15th, 1966, the Beatles released Yesterday and Today. This North American only album holds a unique place in their discography. Notably, this album is best known for its original butcher cover art, a controversial image that was quickly recalled and replaced. The butcher cover art shows the Beatles covered in raw meat wearing butcher outfits, surrounded by dismembered baby doll parts. After public outcry, this shocking imagery was replaced by a more innocent photo, showing the band in Brian Epstein's office, with Paul McCartney nestled inside of a trunk. Today, the butcher cover version of Yesterday and Today is a prized collector's item due to its rarity and historical significance. Despite this odd start, the album itself offers a fascinating blend of songs, mixing tracks from Revolver with selections from Rubber Soul and Help, as well as singles released along with those albums. The resulting track listing may seem unusual to those unfamiliar with this history, but it offers a unique snapshot of the Beatles' evolving sound and experimentation during the period, showcasing a perfect blend of middle period Beatles. Among the standout tracks are Lennon's introspective Knower Man and McCartney's timeless classic Yesterday. These songs showcase the band's leading songwriters at their best, with Yesterday featuring a lush string arrangement and Nowhere Man delivering a raw acoustic vibe. These different approaches would come to define the styles of Lennon and McCartney throughout their evolving careers. Additionally, Ringo Starr takes center stage with two tracks on this album, a rarity for a standard UK Beatle release. Act Naturally, a charming cover of Buck Owens' song, sees Ringo at his most endearing, with McCartney providing impressive backing vocals. The other Ringo song is called What Goes On, and it was written primarily by John Lennon and it features Ringo on lead vocals, with Lennon adding his own harmonies to the mix. One intriguing element of Yesterday and Today are its subtle references to drug culture, particularly evident in songs like Day Tripper and Dr. Robert. These tracks offer a glimpse into the band's awareness of the blossoming psychedelic scene, despite the album being released well before the Beatles publicly acknowledged their experimentation with drugs. With hindsight, it's clear that the Beatles were tuned into this drug subculture, a theme that would become more pronounced in their later works. Despite its controversial start, Yesterday and Today enjoyed commercial success, reaching number one on album charts in Canada and across various charts in the United States. This achievement underscores the enduring popularity the Beatles' music and their ability to captivate audiences, even among outcry. In retrospect, Yesterday and Today may be overshadowed by its infamous butcher cover, but for American fans, it remains a charming and significant piece of their musical legacy, offering a unique glimpse into a pivotal moment in their evolution as artists. Additionally, Nowhere Man was released as a standalone single at the same time as Yesterday and Today, achieving remarkable chart success. It reached number one in Australia, Canada, and at least one American chart. This video is based on my own views, thoughts, and words, but some information found in this video is sourced from the Beatles Bible, a great website. I highly recommend you guys check it out. So if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and leave a comment sharing your thoughts and memories of the Beatles' iconic Yesterday and Today album.